What's going on everybody? Quick video here, change of pace before we start ripping some more Series 2. Something a little bit different. About a, I don't know, a month and a half ago or two months ago, I, I got an email from the Phillies. I get a million emails from the Phillies from buying tickets here, there, and everywhere over the last 20 years. It was about an auction they were doing to celebrate the 20th year of Citizens Bank Park. Uh, and they had a bunch of stuff on there, private hitting lessons with Trey Turner, behind the scenes tour with Crucky, birthday party with Harper. Of course, those were going for many thousands of dollars. I don't even know where they closed that, but I came across this listing, which was for an autographed baseball of a Philadelphia Phillies player from the Citizens Bank Park era. So that could be anywhere from 2004 until the current year. They were $30 each. This was a donation as well to several charities uh, from the fantastic auction. So I decided, since I'm back in the hobby, uh, to pull the trigger and get three of these and have some fun with it and maybe see uh, what kind of autographed baseball I get. I only have one current autographed baseball. I should say two. There's one over here. That's Aaron Nola. I have two of those from a game last year at Citizens Bank Park. I have two because each of my kids got one, despite me trying to convince them that one should go for Nola and somebody else should go away by the dugout, but that didn't happen. Anyway, these came in, so I'm going to share them real quick. Of course, there's a story behind it. The first ball they sent me <clears throat> is this one. Well, let me show you. They didn't come packaged very well. They came in a manila envelope. And in one of these drawstring bags, uh, but the ball was loose in here. Um, so I wanted to do a blind reveal, but ended up not sure what was going on with the package and didn't want the balls rolling around in there uh, before I could get to making a video. So I did open them. First one we've got here. Don't think I would have recognized this one or been able to read it. This one is the first one they sent me. Uh, but they only sent me one when I ordered three. So this one came with a card here of the player, and it's Adam Morgan. Set that down for a second. Gives you a little, a uh, few statistics uh, from when he was on the Phillies, 2015, 16, and 17. I do remember when he came up in 15. He had been a fairly high, highly touted prospect in the organization, but unfortunately didn't uh, totally materialize at the big league level. I do believe he has retired from baseball uh, since he was with the Phils. So they sent me this card in the bag and this ball, but the other two were missing. They never showed up, so I had to contact the auction house. They were great uh, customer service, and they uh, responded right away and sent me two other balls. However, here's the first one. If I did a live reveal on this, I would not have known whose autograph this was. Uh, so it wouldn't have been that exciting. I had to look it up and do a little bit of uh, pet detective research here. This is a current player, number 56. This is Luis Ortiz coming out of the bullpen for the Phillies now. And uh, he's had some decent games, throwing some good games. And uh, this might be a guy that we need down the stretch in the postseason to get some guys out late in the game. I think he does have the stuff to do that. Uh, but, of course, not a huge body of work yet. But we got Louis Ortiz, number 56. We got Adam Morgan. And the last ball, I'll show you here again. Would not have recognized the signature. Maybe some of you will. I was able to find Louis Ortiz on some other baseballs and a card. Uh, this guy definitely has some autograph cards out there. But, again, I didn't recognize the auto. So it would have been quite boring uh, if I did a blind reveal. But this is number 21 for the current Phillies, Mr. Garrett Stubbs. So you can you can make out a G there, I can see. I thought that was an H for a middle initial, but that's two T's right there. And an S and something else after it. But number 21, Garrett Stubbs, who obviously is getting a lot of PT right now with JT on the shelf. Uh, but Stubby is a beloved uh, player on this team. Pitchers seem to like him. They don't often miss a beat when he's back there behind the plate. Obviously not the offensive prowess that JT brings to the table. 
But uh, he's a high-energy guy and I think has had something to do with the Phillies' success over the last few years. So, got a Garrett Stubbs. I bought these boxes uh, for 3 bucks on Amazon because, again, once I got the first ball and it wasn't in anything, I uh, grabbed a couple cheap boxes because I didn't know who I was going to get here. Uh, but got Garrett Stubby. So, added to my collection of Aaron Nola, we've got Adam Morgan, Luis Ortiz, and Garrett Stubbs. All right. I did have fun opening these. was a little excited before I ripped the package open. Uh, so it was worth it to make a donation and uh, get some Phillies memorabilia. Thanks for watching. See ya.